Hey, what's up? Jason here from Unity3D.College. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make objects glow using the emission property on the standard shader. So you can have a character that does something somewhat like this, where his little staff sparkly crystal is glowing and darkening and glowing and darkening. Now let's take a quick look at what this looks like without all the animation and without the extra point light in here. So I've got a light. I'm just going to turn that off. And then let's see, let's turn off the wizard's animator. There we go already off. Okay, let's take a quick look. Now if you just jump into the scene view here, you can see this part of the model is just glowing, right? So it's brightening and then darkening. And if we look at the material here, you'll see I'm just animating the brightness of this emission. But the emission mask is actually set up so that it's just this little part right here, just the crystal. Now if I remove that and had no texture, see the entire thing is glowing which is not what we want so let me show you how I create that little mask real quick it's pretty simple so you can do it on your own projects where you have some piece that you want to glow you may or may not want to animate it for instance I could turn off the animation here just flip off that animator and then put back on the emission mask and then I could just adjust it you know, at runtime or design time if I can grab this little field Oh, sorry, the animation is still causing it to play. Let's uncheck that. Hit play. Let's see if we can get it to update. There we go. So here, let's let's take a look in the scene view. This is kind of what you can do. You can adjust it to whatever you want for your, your brightness there. Now let me show you how to set it up, how to create it. I actually, to create it, I started with the default texture here. So if you have an object where you think it could glow, and you have a texture for it, you can simply open it up. So I'll just go to show in Explorer. And then I, what I did here was just copy it, create an extra one, and we'll just call this uh, Emission 2, since I already have an emission. And then open it up in GIMP. So if you don't have GIMP, it's totally free. You can just download it. And it, when you open it, it'll look just like this. Why is it not in the foreground? Let's see, let's let's force it to the front. Here we go. So it'll look just like this. And zoom out. Now, what I wanted to do was just black out every part that doesn't need to glow and only keep this part around. So to do that, I go by go to um, select by color, and I just start selecting here and I hold shift to select all of the areas with that color that worked. Then I go to select and invert and just hit delete. And then in the paint tool here, I, or I select the paint tool here if I can find it. There it is, the paint bucket. Go to solid black and fill it in. And then just save this off. So just go file, overwrite, staff emission 2. And now I can use that staff emission 2 file. Let's jump back into the editor and reselect the material right here. So right now I've got that one selected. I'll set it to none. And let's pick staff emission 2. There we go. Now I could also just change the color of the glow. I could make this like a white or a, a gray scale or something and that, that would work. Then I could have different colors of glow or something. But for now I'm going to keep it blue. Just kind of show how you glow it. So this is all you really have to do to get basic emission working so that you can adjust it in here. Now I'm going to jump over to animating it because I think that that's also somewhat interesting. So to create an animation for it, what I did was go into the, uh, I guess any folder. I'm going to do it in this root wizard folder for now. And I'll just go create and we create an animation. Oh, I got to get that on the screen. There we go. Right click, go to create and create an animation. I'm going to call this glow to It's going to be my new glowing animation. Now the staff already has an animator. So let me just remove that. And what I did next was take the glow to and just drop it onto the staff before it had an animator. And we'll get an animator with a controller automatically. And if you look at the controller, it's just going into glow to and playing. Now I want to jump back over to the scene view and I want to open up the animation window and select the staff. Now since the staff has that animation on it, I can actually edit it. You can see the glow to is right here. And I just hit record. And then with the staff selected, I went to the material. So just go down here and set the emission value right here to zero. And then I move the marker over to the 
30 mark and set the emission up to 1 and then back to the 1.0 mark and back to 0. Now if I play, you see it just glows in and out. Now in the video I showed a little second ago, I also added a point light. So here I've just got a light. It's set to a range of 5. I'm going to make it blue. And then I also wanted to animate that. Oh, sorry, I'm in record mode. I shouldn't be doing that in record mode. So let's delete that and delete that. Outside of record mode, I want to enable the point light. Then select the light still and switch back into record mode. And right here, I want to set the intensity to 1. Actually, I guess it's already at 1 there. Here, I want to set the intensity to 0 at the end. And then at the beginning, I also want to set the intensity to 0. And then I'll go to the middle and set it up to 1. Now, outside of record mode again, so I'm going to stop recording. And I want to just adjust the tint here and give it a bluish green tint. So now when I play this animation, you'll see it's glowing and then there's a point light also affecting the character. And then if I flip on the animation for this guy's idol and hit play, you can see it again all in motion where he's, his staff is glowing, it's a little bright, and you see it only happened once. There's a little issue here where I need to go to my staff and, or my staff animation. Why is it not showing up? Oh, sorry, glow too. I need to go to the glow 2 animation and check the loop time button or box there we go now play and it glows it's glowing nice and fast I can adjust that in the animation or I can also do that in the uh, animation controller so I can go right here and just set the speed to like 0.3 to slow down that animation speed just a little bit so there you go hopefully that was a little bit useful there's a little bit of emission stuff a little animating and a little lighting but you can see it adds kind of a cool little effect there to the sky staff so try it out um, if you like this video don't forget to like and hit subscribe if you have any questions feel free to just drop them down below and thanks for watching